So it's fascinating then when you look at an equal money system, an equality system, which will remove this polarity of rich and poor and for better or for worse, because it gives everyone equal life from birth to death. And your life is no longer about having to um, achieve a better balance, monetary balance in your on your balance sheet so that you can survive and be better off. And then if you uh, because then your whole life is about holding your balance and maintaining your balance and trying to get a better balance so you can be better off in fear of being uh, in fear of losing your current balance and having a worse off balance sheet, which means that you you and within your life will then be worse off. An equality system will remove this polarity, give everyone equal life from birth to death. And when you look at then the effect this will have on the current, marriage vows that people take, these apparently holy sacred marriage vows will will become irrelevant because they're about because they're based in the polarity of the current money system, richer or poorer, worse, uh, better or worse, till death. So the marriage vows, I guess, will have to be changed, won't they, to reflect um, equality. So it will no longer be about richer or for for richer or for poorer or for better or for worse till death, it'll be about um, we are both equal in life and equal in everything and equal in uh, as partners till death do us part. So the marriage vows will have to change, which is fascinating.